the CFG Gamecast episode number 333, a weekly podcast created by gamers and streamers alike to discuss the latest gaming topics from the previous week. We stream a new episode every weekend and release it on all podcast services, so do us a favor and show us some love by liking, following, subscribing, subscribing, and commenting on our YouTube page, the CFG channel, or go to our main website, confreaksandgeeks.com to not miss an episode i am mr cfg games himself david screen and with me today i got my awesome co-host i got lex in the second seat what is going on my cyborg cyborg thingies i do say uh i had a busy week uh mris and ct scans and all that fun stuff trying to figure out what's going on with my hands but uh and my brain because duh uh, but yeah, I just kind of been hanging out watching Adam play a lot of games. He's been playing, uh, we got a new TV, uh, downstairs. We, we, we like it. We like her a lot. Uh, and I just get to sit and watch him play Injustice 2 because there's no couch co-op on that. Justice. Why would they do that? What, what are you talking about? There is couch co-op in Injustice 2. Uh, you mean versus, nope. you mean versus mode. You don't like playing, you don't like playing against Adam? No, I want to beat his ass, and I'm very good at that game, and you can't. What are you talking about? It's a it's a there's, fighting game. It, I know, but you can't. There's no couch co-op. Uh, you can't versus each other on Injustice Two. Look it up. I'm I not don't, lying. I don't. I I have Injustice Adam, Two. Adam, get in this chat right now. I have Adam. Injustice Two. There is no way that a, a two player he, versus game. He is playing it off of. Uh, my um. Uh, Dust she's says half she's right. half okay. right. Explain, <laughs> okay? When you get a chance, Dust, please explain, because I do not like. That's like saying playing Street Fighter and you can't play with the player two against Street Fighter. What is going on? We is it? it is it a cloud game or what? Yes. There isn't couch there co-op is. because we're playing on. Oh, it is using cloud via the TV. So you can wait. Can you do you connect your controller? Can you can you connect controller onto uh what's it called um um like more more than one controller uh, on your with your TV? Is that how that works? Or that is such bull crap. What is that? Yeah. How do you wait? That doesn't even make any sense because like so you're telling me that the cloud itself won't let you play like won't let you do uh. Uh, won't let you do Versus. multiplayer At least games like River City Girls or any of that nonsense. That's so weird. Oh, so on any multiplayer. Well, that sucks because we have four controllers. The PC is hooked up, so technically he could just download it onto the PC and then stream it to the computer or yeah, from the computer to the TV. And we could play, I guess. What are you using? Are you using like a, a, a Samsung Game Hub, or what, is that what you're using? To, it's to a do? Samsung TV. That is so uh, odd. And then he's signed into my. Uh, oh God, what's it called? Um, darn it. Your Samsung you know. account? Oh, I don't know. No. Um, it's PlayStation Xbox. My Xbox uh, Game Pass. Really? Oh my gosh, that is so mm -hmm. crazy. But Annoying, right? I cannot believe that, though. I mean, I just like, are you telling me like that? Like, I would have thought that you could be able to connect as many controls as you want and then be able to play. Anyways, yeah, yeah, I gotta yeah. take a look. I gotta take a look at that uh, other system because yeah. that, that is such BS. Yeah. At that point, yeah. If to say that you can't connect more than one controller on a fighting game. I was like, what? It's like, you can't play. It'll let, <laughs> it like brings up the option to, but then when the other person goes to select their person, it like moves it. And there's only one. Okay. So it's, it's weird. I think it, I think it has to be syncing of some sort. Cause like Stadia was able, you were able to play two players on it. If Stadia could do it, you can't do like the, the app version cannot pop. Anyways, what else, is, what else, uh, what else so, are you up to? I'm sorry. I've been watching him play that. No, it's okay. We've kind of been running through like a nineties movie. Like we watched death becomes her recently. We rewatched the mask. We've been having fun with the, with the new TV. And then last night, uh, we watched which you can't watch so ha huh? uh it's on uh, netflix it's the new 
show called Chaos with a K. Uh, and I made it through, I think, almost two episodes before I started having like a narcolepsy event. Uh-huh. 10 out of 10 would recommend if you have narcolepsy and you start to have an episode, turn on Chaos. I don't know why, but that sparked so many fun little dream thingies. Uh, and I would still audibly laugh. Uh, when somebody got called the C word, I'd be like, ha he called her a, and then I would back out. So it was that's, fun. Wow. That's weird. See, look at this. Look at this. Really I'm, just, I'm sorry. I'm looking this up. It says right now. Yeah. You can't, uh, it, there's a question specifically. Can you play two players on Samsung gaming hub? And it says up to four Bluetooth controllers can be connected at the same time. Up to two Bluetooth controllers can be connected while one Bluetooth sound device is, uh, is in use. It is recommended to use a USB controller while using two Bluetooth sound devices. So I, I, I don't know what's going on that I like, like what it whatever that is or maybe try uh, anyways i'm sorry i'm just i'm still hung it, up on this i'm still hung up on this. Me too. i was so mad because i was like ah oh, i get to finally be better at something for once i'm gonna fight in injustice too and beat up adam and he's gonna hate me like all my exes but nope i didn't get to wait a minute okay so wait so the yeah. samsung gaming hub is goes through xbox game pass that's how that works it's Xbox Game Pass Cloud. It's not. I don't oh, know for you. Okay. The, the Samsung Gaming Hub. Okay, I got you. So then, uh, okay. So then, after that, <laughs> wow, that is so weird. Mm-hmm. That is such a weird way of doing it. I mean, uh, like, yeah. to, do you think you would think that it would be? Uh, anyways, anyways. Wow. Well, well, I, I am sorry. I agree. It's okay. We'll figure I, it out. I, <laughs> we'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah, the Samsung Game Hub has access to the Xbox Game Pass Cloud. Does that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, around, it's but. like, yeah. So it's not Samsung exclusive. It's Samsung is right. using Xbox Game Pass to get to allow you to play games through their hub. That's so that makes yeah, sense. Because he ordered some really nice controllers for downstairs, so he could have like game nights at the house and maybe mm-hmm. set up like the cameras and go live if we wanted to. What about so do y'all have uh, like uh, oh like uh, so like uh, well y'all y'all have consoles do you have connected do you have any consoles connected to the to the new TV? No, no, none. Both, oh, okay, well, I don't know where his PlayStation is, but mine's still in the bedroom because at three a.m. Uh, the internet in Las Vegas likes to go out for an hour, and so mm-hmm. I just put on the labyrinth. It's queued up and ready to go every time. <laughs> every time. Uh, every time. Uh, I just wake up and I grab the controller and boop, boop, and turn it on, but. Uh, yeah, no, I don't know where his is. It's probably in his office somewhere, but I digress. It's it, it's been nice and like I it's it's bonding. I get to sit and hang out and watch him play whether I get to play or not, you know. Uh can't, but I I got some good naps in. Yeah, can't get enough of that Goblin King as always. So that's good. But Goblin King, Goblin King. <laughs> awesome. Well, I'm glad you had a good time. Man. Yeah. yeah, that's fun. Well, that, yeah, it's fun. My PS4 is on this on the shelf of my office. It's on the shelf. Of course it is. You'll yep. have, yeah, oh, he's, yeah. He's cool shelving units in his office that I built for him. Oh, uh, but then I'm again, Bob though, the too, builder. you could still, I mean, if y'all actively use the PS4, connect it down on the place, uh, on the, uh, on the uh, downstairs main TV. There you go. I do have in just one on the, on the one upstairs. Yeah. Hmm. Or wait till the PS5 Pro comes out. There you go. No. Nah. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that, but you, Mister, you tricked me into making me think you were at PAX West with Smitty, and Why? I didn't get invited. I, you was- on your, on your, on your uh, Instagram story. It popped up. Like oh, at PAX West, yeah. And I said this mofo went with. <laughs> I just How left. Dare you? I decided. And he was like, is- he's letting Smitty log in, and I was like, there's no way he would ever do that. He's there. <laughs> Can you imagine yep. how much flack I would have gotten from you if I did something so I shady? may have to quit. I may have to quit. Oh, that would be crazy. I would have been so upset. <laughs> so you got me. That's why I like. I'm. I text you. And I was like, "Oh, this fucker won't look at his phone." I was, I was like, "Well, I was maybe wondering he's on the what? floor. He will." And I was so, wondering because when you said at 11, 11 30 at like I was already asleep. Like when the, when I woke up at four in the morning, I was like, "What is she texting me for?" It's eleven thirty. It's like yeah. way past her bedtime. And I looked at it. And I was like, 
am I at PAX? I'm like, why is she thinking I'm at PAX? And I'm like, oh, yeah, that's right. Because, oh, yeah, because I gave, because uh, I told you, I told you about uh, that you can put um, specific people on your social media for Twitter, additional people, delegates, that's what they call it. Yeah, delegates on oh. uh, on Twitter. So that's what Smitty did. So Smitty was posting ah. under my thing. And then I was like, oh, I'll share it on my other social media with Instagram and uh, threads smart, and stuff. Smart, smart, smart. Oh okay. uh, yeah, so then I was, but then I was like, me. "What is you got me. <laughs> so I I looked at Adam. I went like this. <gasps> <laughs> they went to PAX without me. It's like, hey, and he's uh, like, no, he he let <laughs> Smitty post. I said he would never give Smitty his password. Oh, I didn't, and I did. I technically, never. Technically, I, I didn't give him my password. So yeah, right. I gave him. I, I right. gave him access to it. So yeah, because uh, yeah, there's no way Thank I would you. give him a golden key. Anyone, I would give no. anyone the golden key. It's not that I don't trust Smitty. Don't do it. Yeah, so that, <laughs> that it's so funny. I would have been so messed up. That would be such a dick oh. thing to do. <laughs> it's not even funny to me, man. But that's uh, yeah. hilarious. Yeah. but also not funny. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do what? Don't don't do that to me in the future. I wouldn't. I'll be, I'll be very upset. I know. Oh uh, yeah, know. I wouldn't do that. Like yeah, I'll just yeah. I would, I mean, if I, because like I wanted to go to PAX, but like I just can't for unforeseen reasons. And yeah, so I mean, that's just gonna be that's what I'm gonna yeah. definitely aim, aim for for next year. So, but uh, we'll see. Uh, but but uh, what have you been up to besides being at PAX? Uh, I know, right? Well, as always, well, it sucks. I've had a pretty stupid week, I would say. Besides working, uh, besides re- uh, uh, kind of getting into work again, um, I got pink eye, and I still kind of have it right on this eye. How right did now. you do that? I don't, well, How I was, did you do that? Did you fart on your pillow? I told I was, you not to do that. Well, I mean, but it's so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> you your just, sister farted on your pillow. It's, That's just what night, it's just at nighttime, and sometimes it just gets really cold at night, and then you just got to kind of steam up, steam up the pillow a little bit, the good old pillow. But uh, yeah, but no, the <laughs> yeah. So, but anyways, no, yeah. So I don't know. Like, like it, you, know, you know, it's actually kind of funny. It kind of freaked me out at mm. first because I haven't had pink eye in like. 20 years 20, 20 25 years, years. yeah, yeah. Sure. and then all of a sudden it's like i'm seeing my eyes slowly becoming like you know pink and stuff Yuck. and then i'm like what is this and then and then so i was paranoid my sister was even worse like she like so she she was a uh, she was uh, uh trying to find like all these different kinds of ways to to to, to see what i need to do but then uh then uh uh she said you need to go might need to go see a doctor to see it and i'm like I don't have yeah. insurance. I don't have insurance. It's like I can't uh, really like uh, go to cares. a doctor, huh? Yeah, quit care. It's I pretty hate, cheap. I hate going to clinics. I, I hate going to clinics because you know what they're going to end up saying. Because like I have hypertension, so they're gonna so they always give you that. But then I realized, wait a minute, CVS has a minute clinic. Let me just do that. You know, that's what and, I'm saying. Yeah, so I went to a minute clinic, and then they said, okay, it's going to cost one hundred thirty nine dollars to be seen. And I was like, ugh. I was like, okay, whatever. Did it? Uh, got this thing called like they they asked is like they said, hey, you could we can give you a uh, drops or we can give you ointment. And I was like, ointment is like what you have to do is like oh you have to put it under the eye. Uh, she didn't do a good job explaining it because like she said do put it under the eye. So I'm thinking, okay, let me just put it under the eye. So like under the eyelid, but I need to put it under like in the un- the eye the uh-huh. eye yeah and then put it in the thing so on the first day of me do applying it i was doing that and then i was like but it, but it looked like it was getting worse it wasn't getting any better so it was kind of freaking it me was. out yeah oh, so no! so then uh so that i was like oh no i don't know what i need to do and so i was freaking out and i was like i might need to go see the clinic again it's like hey this thing is not working but then i looked it up i went on the internet and just to make sure i was like i said you know what i think i'm doing it wrong and uh, and I looked it up, and then they're like, "Yeah, you need to put it inside the uh, under the eyelid, and then do it." I'm like, "Man, if I knew that, I would go- I would have gone for drops." <laughs> I hate right? I'm like, yeah. So, but she said that the uh, the ointment works faster, and I was like, uh, yeah. I was "Like, so I'm doing that." Uh, but it tells you you have to do it four times in a day, and it's like you have to be consistently yeah. doing it, which I've done. I've done three times so far. So, <clears throat> so yeah. So that's where I'm at right now. Um, but the Ugh. biggest thing. Yeah, so like I got before I go to bed, I'm gonna do it one more time, and then uh, before when I wake up before my uh, workout, I'm gonna do it de- again. But yeah, so that happened, and at the same time, I'm playing um, 
uh, I played this new Dragon Ball Z MOBA, Dragon Ball, I think it's called Project uh, Project Multi right now, which is fun. Uh, fun, which is a fun, simple game, but kind of want to wring the head out of some of these people because these some of these people don't know how to play a MOBA. It's to no one's fault is because some of these people love Dragon Ball. They wanted to play a Dragon Ball game. They did, and it's a different way of playing it. So I give them the no fault on that. Uh, and then um, also I played, uh, what was the name of the game? Oh, I was playing this game called Zenless Zone Zero again. Uh, because there's this new character that's coming out next week, and I was like, I like, I got to get her because she's uh she's pretty chonky. I'm definitely I love <laughs> I love the look of her, so I'm definitely gonna pick that uh, pick that character up. So uh, so we'll see. I'm trying, yeah, I'm trying to find a game that's good story based. That's uh to start streaming again. I need to figure it out. Some Mister say it was all the faults, yeah, but uh like uh, but I still to this day can't can't find it. Although. I am definitely going to play uh uh going to play uh, metaphor when it comes out next month. That's going to be a uh, a good one. And I don't know if you're interested in this Lex. Maybe hmm. maybe you should, but like cause I know you're the uh, horror fan of it. Uh I applied I, I applied for uh, a key for Silent Hill 2, the remake. Uh so <laughs> Although the problem is, well, I don't know. I, I don't think you, I can make it work because it, you need a PS5 for this one. I, I applied for a PS5. Oh, key. Yeah, so I don't, I don't think I can. PS5. Yeah. No, indeed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but, uh, well, I, I'll see what we need to do because I think that would be a pretty good one. Although, I think I should, I think I should play that because I need to play at least a spoopy game for October or something. Yeah. I, I don't know. You well, do. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, yes. <laughs> you absolutely yeah. need to. No, I don't. I just don't play. I lost my screen. You know yeah. what you might like that has a good storyline is Lost in Random. That was a great game. I freaking loved it. I mean, how it's random really are we good. talking? <laughs> I think it's spooky, as in like um, Nightmare Before Christmas spooky, like kind of Disney cutesy spooky. They don't want Coraline so, spooky. I don't want to be in between like that. That's that that's like it's either all in it's or all really out. It's a really good game. It's a really good game. We'll really? play Alan Wake. Uh, man, but uh, you, or is that but, too much of a story? I mean, you got no. Pick I'm a fine with here. Alan Wake. I'm I'm fine. Like okay. I said, I love story based games. I just haven't never played Alan Wake. I never played the first one. I need to play. Do I need to play the first one to play the second one, or can I just skip to the second mm. one? You could skip to the second one, but you might want to do like a YouTube like catch me up, like what what give me the synopsis of the entirety of the first game kind of although, thing, you know? Yeah, although Alan Wake would be a good one to do. That's a good idea. It's I don't really know. good. We might. We'll figure it out. Uh that that'll be pretty nice. Uh and then uh oh, and then Callista was telling me like was told, uh uh one of our reviewers was saying I should try playing the Master Detective Club, the Nintendo one. I don't know what that game is. I, I heard it when it's coming out, but I have no idea. Unsighted. Heard of it. What's unsighted? Never heard of unsighted know. before. Googling. Hmm. Okay, but yeah, but anyways, we'll see. But hey, but guys, I know y'all don't want to talk about to see what what kind of game will scare the hell out of me, and I, uh, so we'll go through the normal rig and roll that we like to do each and every week. So each of us chooses a topic of discussion in the world of video games from the previous week. The topic would or could be a game itself or something that happened in the gaming industry itself. We don't want to talk about it amongst ourselves. We want you, the listeners on Twitch and on YouTube, to be a part of the conversation as always. So if there is something you're wanting to add on whatever we talk about or your opinion on whatever we're we're, we're saying, by all means, type it inside the chat, inside uh, the YouTube or Twitch chat, and we will talk amongst ourselves with you which that made absolutely no sense but we'll go with that mm -hmm. <laughs> we're rolling we're keeping it live so <laughs> let's get this party started with uh uh i have a the topic uh i'll start off with the first topic here since i didn't discuss it with you uh on tuesday uh, yeah tuesday the uh nintendo direct happened for the month of august they kind of like gave us absolutely no like warning about this until like 24 hours beforehand and uh so i just assumed that this was going to be a small nintendo direct uh but this was actually a pretty big one uh from the most part there was a lot of games that they uh that it wasn't it wasn't just a nintendo direct itself the the direct itself was really mostly about the new zelda echoes of the new uh, zelda game that's coming out here in the next 
Wow. In two and a half weeks. It comes out in two and a half weeks. That's crazy when I think about it. Uh, so there's uh, so but there was a lot of games that just was they just spewed out on the indie sides and third party sides. Uh, for the most part, the big thing is that there's a mix of a lot of new games uh, of new games. But I am surprised about the massive amount of uh, of old retro games that are coming in mixed with all the with, with all the new ones. Uh, and it, what's sad to me personally, maybe it's because I'm just an OG an OG gamer. Um, I think that I'm more hyped about the games that are being re-released than some of the, than the new games uh, that are coming. So, uh, so the first thing I really topped it off was like I don't know if you care about about this one, um, Lex, but it's because it, like I grew up with this mostly. Was yeah. uh, there's a Tetris collection that is coming out, and I um, suck at Tetris. Oh god, but I, I love like Texas. Tetris. I love Tetris. You uh, like Texas? Good to know. I'm glad you looked at it. Yeah. No, I suck at Tetris. I don't know what it is. I panic. I shouldn't, but I panic. Really? Wow. Well, I don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> well, yeah. So Tetris, it's called Tetris Forever. Um, it's a collection of the classic Tetris games, but they're also giving games that they that we never got here in America. So there's Tetris, Hatris, Tetris oh. 2, Super Bomb Bombless, Super Bombless DX, and so many more. And then there's also an online, like an online scoreboard and stuff like that. So you have the classics as well as like like because this is the 40th anniversary of Tetris, which by the way. Right. The, uh, by the way, if you have not seen the Tetris movie, on like, you should definitely go see that. That's on Apple. It's on the Apple Store. Um, it's about the making, like the what what it what had oh. to be done to make Tetris like to to become a, a phenomenon. And spoiler, like, spoiler, they killed a lot of <laughs> a lot of blood is in the hands of a Americans. Chainsaws, <laughs> sickles. Oh man. You yeah, yeah, know. you only want to know that it's like I'm surprised that they actually gave it an R rating. It really should have been NC17. But no, the uh yeah, it's, no, but definitely go see Tetris the movie uh uh the the making of like what they had what people had to do just to get it out of Russia. Crazy. It's it's, it's insane. Oh. But yeah, yeah, cuz uh, that's that's the that's the originator from Tetris. But there was so many crazy things that happened at the same time of all of this that it was like, wow, okay, okay, interesting. But anyways, uh, yeah, so that was the the uh, it's opened up with uh, with that. But then they also brought out some uh, some interesting random games. Like uh, there was a, a new a new game called Star. Ooh, motorcycle. Sorry. Uh, there was a uh, game that came out called Star Overdrive uh, that they uh, that they were uh, showing off a little bit. Uh, uh, the Goat Simulator Three, SpongeBob SquarePants, all the small, you know, the rigmaroles. But the one, the thing that got my interest was a was the Marvel vs. Capcom uh fighting collection was announced uh back in the beginning of the summer, I believe. Uh, they've re- they've given a release date for that, which is going to be coming out uh physically. Uh, on November 22nd, which sucks. That means that's two months of me waiting because I'm wanting to get a physical copy of it. But then, uh, but then there's also, but there, the digital version comes out September 12th. So that comes out in two weeks, two, two, three weeks uh, for it. So the wait will be short, it, 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 short for uh, for a lot of people. I am going to patiently wait and wait for the collectors of the, or the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the physical copy. Um, of course you are. Yes, I don't know what that means. I don't know if I should like that or not. <laughs> but, but yeah, it I'm just. Tracks. It does. It does track. I mean, I'd like, but I mean, I, I, I prefer physical copies. I mean, I'm sorry. That's just what it is. It yeah. is what it is. If I, you I, really like it, you'd buy both. If I do. See, the problem is, see, this is the problem I've always had with nostalgia because that's how Steam works. Steam works <laughs> by nostalgia. <laughs> like, it really does overall. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, but, like, the 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 fast satisfaction of having the game on September twelfth is is cool, but dude, this game isn't cheap. This game is fifty bucks. So like I did like oh. like yeah. So this is a lot. I mean, if it was like a twenty dollar game or something, no. But you're getting yeah. a lot of something that 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 uh that 
has that has not been seen in on, on like store shelves in literally 10 years like a decade a decade so so no i want to get a physical copy <laughs> like i would love to get a physical copy of this i feel so, that yeah yeah but then on top of this which was a complete surprise to everybody was that they're also doing a fighters gate of fighters collection too which i would i don't know about you lex but i think you should get this one uh this was like oh? this is yeah now there's going to be most of the games probably isn't something that you that you would probably care playing but power stone and power stone 2 is going to be your jam i think you would love that game yeah so this was a dreamcast game that came out back in the day uh but there's so many games that come uh that 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 uh that i grew up with on this one alone cap snk millennium fight then you got cap marvel uh capcom snk 2 mark of the millennium uh Cap, the only one that really was kind of weak was Capcom fighting uh, fighting evolution that was terrible Street Fighter Alpha 3 mm. upper which is a good which is a great well I never played upper but I did play I mean Alpha 3 is always good you played downers yeah <laughs> yeah I did play I played it's it's uh it's direct sequel downers <laughs> they're all drugged up but uh they also got project justice which is the sequel to rival schools uh, Power Stone, Power Stone Two, Plasma Sword. Plasma Sword was an interesting one. Nightmare of Bliss, uh, uh, of Bliss, Blistine is not Plasma Sword. And Nightmare of Blistine. Yeah, this is coming on in in twenty twenty five. So this is going to be a game, and it's going to have rollback net code, which is amazing to even think that this is going to have oh arcade balance God. and stuff shut up <laughs> oh yeah just so many different things but i but like i think personally for you this would be a perfect game for like yeah it's uh like what dust is saying that that uh uh power stone and power stone 2 was the original mario party that and fusion Fre frenzy yeah so that would be a fun game if uh yeah see dust even said it power stone yes yeah, yeah very fun game very very fun game uh, for it and we have a nintendo switch so yeah and it's on the switch so there you go i as say long get as the it. character is not this big on my 75 inch i say get it i, I say get it on steam so we can all play because I'm not playing it on Switch. I'm not buying a fighting oh. game on the Switch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That so is there true. you go. That is true. Yeah. So, uh, but uh, that that will probably you know that you know that you now when you now when I'm thinking about it when you said you know get the uh, physical uh, get a physical copy get a physical copy for my console and Steam version on <laughs> for everything else. There you go. There you go. That's using right? the brain. The good I old. I mean, what other physical copy were you going to get? Because they all were going to go into the Nintendo, yeah? No, I'm not getting it on the Switch. I'm getting it on the PS5. Switch is the worst way oh, to play it. Wow. <laughs> I'm never, yeah, so, Switch is definitely the worst way to play it, I would say. Then that, and you can also play it, uh, uh, the chance to play it with a lot of different kinds of people on, on the PC. So no, I'll definitely, you know, now now you got the good, the, Steam the and good then old PS5. noggin. You're welcome. No, uh, no, I'm not going to okay, thank you for that. $50 twice. You're making me pay more money. That's not. That's, I'm trying. I need listen, to save money. Listen, <laughs> listen. That's not my problem. Yeah, I'm that's. Just, I'm the think tank. Don't ask me questions. That is quite and clear. You know what? Mm -hmm. They have rival school, but do they have the game friendly school? Because that's. Listen, no, mm -mm. no one's going to buy a friendly school. But anyways, I digress. Uh, so another game coming out that w they announced, uh, they announced a Castlevania collection, the GBA Castlevania collection, which was going to be uh, that had like Aria of Sorrow, uh, the Aria of Sorrow, Aria of Sorrow 2, I believe. No, Dawn of Sorrow, Portrait of Ruin and uh, Order of Ecclesia. Uh, uh, those are the three in one bundle. And that's coming. That came out this week which was a uh, which was really really cool so uh i loved the uh the gba versions this was the closest that you would get metrovania to uh like you know uh the close metrovania versions of the original the og symphony of the night very fun games uh i would definitely suggest to play the uh to play these especially with the with the goodness of the uh of the GBA, that was probably the only reason why I would have bought a GBA, but I didn't because it was too expensive for me. I don't uh, know what a GBA is. Game Boy Advance. Oh, I have one. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. So yeah. So there oh you no, go. maybe I don't. I have a Game Boy Color. Yeah. Yeah. I got is a it Game Advanced Boy Color. Color. No, it's the it's the one after Advance. That's GBA. Uh, yeah. So okay. there you go. It's better than the GBH version. <laughs> I don't know what oh I don't know what GB what oh oh uh, I see. all the you punk rock that. people in the chat know what I'm talking about 
<laughs> okay. okay. But uh, yeah, so that's going to be, the, yeah, so that was cool. They gave an official street date for Sid Meier's seven, uh, Civilization 7, which I'm definitely going to be down to play. As always, I love Civ. Uh, uh, which is February 11th. Uh, now, unfortunately, there's a remaster for Tales of Graces. Uh, Tales of Graces uh, F Remastered. We'll definitely never play that game again because I am traumatized to this day with Let's Go Back to Launt. <laughs> so, no. Uh, the remakes of Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D remake, uh, which is the first, which is technically the original, the the original Dragon Quest, the, the in the order of Dragon Quest is the this will be the first one to play. Then you want to play, uh, then the next one, the the se- the sequel is going to come out, I believe, next year. Uh, for it, so the Su- Sukaden one and two HD remaster. They they basically just went into my dream journal and just said, "Hey, all these games that Davis loved to play on RPG wise, we're gonna re- we're gonna re release them and bring them out." Uh, so how do you know I didn't give them your diary? You don't know. <laughs> that is true. If it is, it's kind of fearful. But <laughs> there you go. So we got the Sukaden the remake coming is coming as well. Uh, uh, one and two, which is a big one because Sukaden one and two was a game that came out on the PlayStation One. Uh, easy to find Sukaden one. Sukaden two, one of the hardest games to find. It's, it's uh, the original copy goes for about five hundred, six hundred dollars if you can. So Ooh. definitely a good one, a good one to finally get a remake for, a remaster for. Comes out March 6, twenty twenty five. Uh, a, a brand new Atelier uh, game is coming, so I know Vin is going to be flipping his uh, flipping his lid with Atelier Yumia, the Alchemist of Memories and the Vision Land. So this is going to be. Uh, they finally retired Ryza because Ryza was so popular. But uh, this one's going to be very interesting. I'm definitely going to not play yeah, this either. Bye, Ryza. <laughs> we don't like Ryza. Yeah, you don't like Ryza? Why? I don't know. I'm oh. just making jokes because I don't know what any of these are. Oh yeah, but the the but the biggest thing is that the theme was was this. <laughs> they are making a massive amount of different kinds of uh like of just nostalgia games and uh like uh they and, look great though yeah but like man it's like i think that's a pr- i mean it's great to see but at the same time it's like you have a next gen console man like you like right. like you, you you're wanting to see what this thing can do i mean and yet when you're seeing all these 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 studios making all these remakes and all this stuff like this all the time it's just it's just a little bit uh like well yeah that and it's a like i i don't even know what the what, what the word like cause like for me for instance for me like you know gamers now mostly wanting to play like you know call of duty Fortnite, and stuff yeah. like that they don't want to do any they're not really strong on story driven games uh it, right. and and then i understand why because most of the story driven games to me now to how they release them now are not very fun or they're not truly in depth uh like uh, like in in depth enough to be like, okay, this is going to be the replacement for me to not play a multiplayer game with my friends and stuff like that. Uh, like like that. Right. Like like for instance, Star Wars Outlaws. To pricing aside, is a, a the twenty hour game itself is still very. It's not like I uh, I did. I've only played like about five hours into it, and it's not doesn't give me a feel of like accomplishment of what I'm doing. Like it's it's, it's only a twenty hour game. Well, I mean, and I'm fine with twenty hours, but it's just like the uh, the medio. It's just that the the for instance the hiding. It's like you're sneaking. It's, it's it, the the twenty hour experience is just you. The way you you sneak is boring. The way that you're attacking is boring. The fact that you mm. can't hold one freaking like when you move to a different zone, you're always at your default gun. Like you you drop everything that you've had into a different zone. Just things like the small bits and stuff like that is, is very easy. Oh, the funniest thing though too. There's a clip on this uh, from um from Asmin Gold. That he took oh. out, like he dropped like ten people. He was in the grass. He silently took out one. Then he takes, he, t- he took out two or three people. Then he finally gets caught, like taking one person out. He stays in the grass. People are literally on top of him, and they cannot kill him because they can't find him. And I'm just like, what is like, yeah, you know, I, I feel That's- like. Yeah, I feel like the effort of these kind of games, especially these big AAA games and stuff, are just it's just in, it's isn't there, there anymore. And uh, and that's that. And it's and like I said, it's like I don't blame anyone to be like, okay, let me just go play a game that doesn't have a uh, a quick adventure think. and stuff like that. I mean, Black Myth Wukong right. is a, is 
I mean, not the best of the, of, of the games, but it's, it's sure as hell fun to play, you know, uh, 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 to, uh, to do it. But like, man, but, but there's just a massive amount of just nostalgia that's coming in. And I don't know if I should be glad or if I should just be kind of worried about like, is this what gaming is going to become? Is this going to become a massive amount, of, just like the movie industry, just a massive amount of different kinds of right. remakes of games that happened when I was a kid that's growing up. And then they're, uh, and we're, they we're just going to be, we're just going to be recycling it again instead of showing any new creativity. I guess like, uh, here's my thing. I don't mind if you're re-releasing a game, if you were re-releasing it in the specs now. Right. Like, obviously, um, for instance, uh, you you listed the horror game that you got it sent out for a key for but it's for PlayStation for Silent Hill 2. Silent Hill 2 and 1 graphics sucked. Like, re-release it in our now graphics, which is what they're doing. Right. A lot of what you were showing me looks like now times. Uh, for the most part, I mean, at least the, the last half of the video, I don't know how long it was in total, but, um, you know, if you're re-releasing things and it's in our now times, like with our graphics and y utilizing all of this money we've put into building our PCs or purchasing PlayStation 5s, etc., like, that's where I'm okay with it. And... Because mm -hmm. a lot of games that I see younger generations like Gen Alpha, like hearing my my friends' kids talk about games that they wish they could play, but they can't because A, their parents didn't keep that system, or B, it's not being re-released. They're not even on the table right now. So, you know, it's, I don't know, I, I, they looked fantastic to me as long as you're utilizing our our graphics cards and the money that we've paid for these systems now i don't mind you know what i mean i mean like i don't mind if they make remakes i don't mind it either however i think that they need to be a better balance between what's coming what what new like like new to old is what i'm saying right like i'm oh, just yeah, saying no, that like i think that like like no i really appreciate especially Capcom's uh, Capcom's collection because I think the way Capcom is doing it is a is a good way of doing it in my opinion because like it's smart they've released I mean they're still releasing new stuff but at the same time they're they're they finally are bringing like you know things that I would have would, would would be dreaming of to say that they're bringing um um Cap S and K finally to a next gen console because this is one of their it's one of the biggest like games that happened in its history and stuff and on top of that with other games that i would have never thought that we would ever see like uh like power, power stone. stone the power stone power stone 2 the punisher fighting game uh uh, uh I, no beat em up I game i would love to play the punisher yeah again. like like to bring all that stuff up it's cool but at the same time they're they're keeping up with what what uh, with current with current i mean with, besides street fighter 6 but they're like monster Hunter wilds is going to be a big it's going to be a big success right. the, re, the re, uh another a brand new resident evil that's coming next year i don't know next year or the year before or the year after i don't know but like to see that shows like like that kind of level of balance but to say like i mean right. Like, but to say, like, man, Sukaden, dude, Sukaden is a game that came out on PlayStation One. It's not like they're going to be doing it. They're, they're doing massive rem uh, a massive remake that's that's going to be uh, that's going to make it uh, any like modern, any more modern than it's going to be. It's just going to be like, oh, they're going to smooth out the graphics. It's going to be probably faster loading times, definitely from a CD to to what we have now uh, and, and and stuff like that. But like, I would love to see. I guess I'm wanting to see more create not uh, more. Um, I don't even know what the word would be like, cr not creativity, but more uh, uh, more originality. I guess it's the best way, like more yeah. originality of something brand new of a brand new IP, and then and then show more faith that they, that they, that they're bringing into the next uh, the next generation. You know, that, I that's get what you're I'm saying, but see. but riddle me this, Batman. How many times have we seen new IPs come out? Uh, and we're paying $60 for these AAA games to not only get a horrible storyline, um, the graphics are okay, but there's glitches left, right, and center. And then, oh, they just aren't going to keep up with it anymore, and we lose the servers within eight months to a year? You know what I mean? Like, I think the originality 
is I don't I don't know who's doing what because like we see original games and we all collectively go, oh, that could be good. That could be good. Hopefully they don't mess this up and then they mess it up. Right. So it's like who's the it's obviously money lining someone's pockets that makes these games come out faster when they're not ready. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, but. I feel like you're right. Capcom isn't doing a bad job with putting even the Resident Evil that I was disappointed in. Uh, Resident Evil Village, I think, is the one. Uh, really after I beat it, af- yeah, ten hours. I paid seventy dollars for ten hours. Oh hell no! I was pissed. Mm, I was okay. pissed. I wanted to keep going, but mm. I also play games like Alan Wake, where I got forty hours in, a hundred hours in. I mean, I could have ended it sooner, but I wanted to, you know, get all the things. Um, I, I'm sorry, ten hours? That's it? That's all well, I get? I, I think I even stomped into the other room and yelled at Adam. <laughs> I was like, I only got ten hours. I finally play Resident Evil. That's what I get. And he was that like, That was your well? first Resident Evil. Uh huh. Are you you should do you need to go back to Resident Evil One or something the original one I mean not the you OG mind one your goddamn business but the, like like I mean you gotta watch the, you gotta play the Chris Redfield one I mean that that one like I think you would have liked the one and two more than you would have liked what you well then again the the Resident Evil Six wasn't no seven wasn't bad the uh the, the, the one house with the farmhouse with the old people yeah that was well they that's when they re uh they redid uh resident evil like uh i forgot that's technically resident evil 7 and then village is 8 yeah yes, that's right because yeah. i've watched people play that one with the old couple mm-hmm. um that one seems like more up your alley if anything with the house that one pisses me off i don't like sneaking i'm not fucking good at it mm-hmm. i get too impatient I'm like, mm-hmm. ah, the cookie is just arm's reach. And then I take one step not crouched. And all of a sudden, like, you know, I don't know. I, I'm not a patient person. And I think as a kid, I could have done the sneaking around. Mm-hmm. Now uh, I'm like, run, you know, and that's not <laughs> how they want you to play the game. That's you know, funny. I don't that know. Maybe that's just me. But eh, she, thank you. I have zero chill. He is correct. I have absolutely <laughs> You just want uh, zero. That is funny to me. Oh, you know what I would love. You I know what I would. You know what I would love for you to what? play. Resident oh, God, Evil. What? Resident Evil Three. Um, what's it called? I've heard Nemesis. Resident Evil Three Nemesis. Because what Three is is that you know I don't know if you know who Tyrant is or uh, Nemesis is. Nemesis mm-hmm. is this ten He's foot. T- yeah. Oh, Nemesis is the ten foot tall like crazy monster. Uh, mm-hmm. he is. Uh, he constantly chases you while you're trying to, while you're trying to uh, uh do puzzles and stuff. And then like he just says, "Can this, I this, outrun this, him this. though?" You, you can't outrun him, but he, but you can't. Like he's always going after you. <laughs> like you can't stop him. Like it's it's hilarious. Well, mm-hmm. you you can stop him, but you have to beat the game first for you to be able to do that. But yeah, it is. It, you got. I think you would love like Resident Evil Three would so be a fun one. So let's give anxiety. Got it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's that's the one. That's the one that you. That's the money maker for you. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, but as to your point of how like about about like them shutting down like you know the the servers and stuff later on and stuff. That's a matter of what they're developing. Like for instance, Concord. Like PlayStation decided to buy a studio to do to uh to do a game as a service studio just so they could uh so so they can uh do, they had a vision of what they were trying to do to make this game to no one no one asking for it characters are are boring and stuff like that gameplay is good but it's but no one cares and now they have a concurrent play count of 400 for a triple a title game as a service the way that the, the the way that they produce these games have changed so differently to what it was in the past that because most of these pe- most people most developers and most studios are chasing a game where they can make one game that'll be able to be like the money maker and then after uh and then and then right. it generates constantly generates money when in reality that's one of the hardest games to make and you and you have to you 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 have to pivot your your whole system 
to accommodate for that you know like it's not right. something it's not something that you can just say okay we're gonna make a we're gonna make a uh, game as a service overwatch like uh hero shooter game that, that's going to generate money because of the microtransactions that we're adding to it and just let it go to its own affairs no you have to put tlc on that yeah for that to happen and promote and, and do all this crazy stuff it's like you can't do that anymore you can't uh, lightning doesn't strike twice at that point but like but no. if you're doing a story-based game yes it's going to cost a lot of money yes it's there's a finite amount of time it's going to be uh is going to be but if you put patience into it and then you balance it to what you're trying to do to be able to give like good storytelling to the uh to the thing no, i mean i'm i know i'm kind of saying it in a like oh i know as a matter of fact kind of thing but yeah i feel that if people put like instead of people putting just statistics in their games I think we would see a better of quality of of games that come out in the uh, in the future, and that people will be interested in actively playing, uh, wanting to play and stuff. You know, right. I mean, Final Fantasy sixteen <laughs> may not be the best Final Fantasy, but mm-hmm. the and it was linear. However, the experience was still good. Uh, was still good enough for it to be like you know a good game. Even though it right. technically in their eyes they failed because they they only sold eight million copies, which is beyond me on that. But still, but anyways, I digress. But anyways, what were we gonna say, Lex? My dream game. If anyone is listening, hi, please. Coraline, the game, and I want, a, a, like, I, I can give you all the ideas. You could have a DLC where you get to go and find out the lore about the mother. Um. And how that became to pass. You could do DLCs on each character and the lures behind them. Like, I'm just saying, I want that game. Mm-hmm. I, I, like, let me play out as Coraline in the movie, but also give me DLCs where, like, you know, I, I that's what I want. Okay. That is that is what I'm asking for if anyone hears this. And, uh, yep, yeah, thank you. Would Please. that be, like, I'll, wouldn't that be Little Nightmares? No. <laughs> Are you do, do you do you play Little Nightmares? I think you have, right? Yeah, I beat them. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I beat waiting, both. You waiting for the third one? I keep pretending that it's not being made so that I will be surprised when they're like, "It's coming out in a week," and I'll go, "Oh, you know," because that one's <laughs> that one's a two. Is it two player or no? You flip I don't know. I, don't I never remember. played. I never I'm, played Little Nightmares. <laughs> I'm trying know. not to like spoil it for myself because I got spoiled for both the first and the second. So. Did you ever yeah, play? I, did you ever play It Takes Two? Yeah, I played oh, yeah. it with Ducky. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So he bought the game, and then he sent me the code, and then I just had to download like a separate piece, and then we were able to play together. I don't think we beat all of the puzzles. Mm-hmm. I think there was two that we didn't do, but yeah, we we beat it in a pretty good time. We worked well together. Interesting. I like cool. it. Awesome. I play that again. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. So yeah, but it was. I mean, but like I know I, we kind of digressed off of it. But Nintendo that's Direct okay. was a was a pretty good was a was a very good a uh, very good experience. I don't good. know. I don't know why Nintendo has been like the indie. Well, you know, it's funny. It's weird for you for me to watch a Nintendo Direct to be like, wow, I can't wait for this game that comes out on PlayStation. <laughs> like that's it, it's always. That's weird. why I was like, why are you waiting for a copy for your? Because your switch that's silly but then when you said playstation i was like oh yeah yeah that's right it's funny that they're yeah it's funny that they're posting these on this on the nintendo's thing i mean right and then you said steam and i was like no yeah (laughs) the nintendo sign was right there it said switch are you not paying attention yeah and then i realized oh yeah i'm in the alternate universe where they actually are letting their stuff be on different well no this is indie, these play. are indie games these are third-party games so third-party games are always going to be on multi or multi-platform except for nintendo games the only the only nintendo game i'm really go, i'm really looking forward to getting is uh mario party jamboree that's going to be one that comes out in mm-hmm. october which i bet if you if you get that we definitely are playing that uh okay. and then uh then then uh mario um Mario and Luigi Brotherhood. That's the new RPG that's coming out on the uh, that Switch. That looks good. Yeah, that What's looks really good. What's the game that recently came out that is kind of spooky, ooky Disney, and it's mm-hmm. uh, he paints. He paints? And I, I feel, don't know. Epic yeah, Mickey? I don't I know. Like that came on the Switch. 
this, repainted, I think, maybe. Is that am I right? Anybody? No? Okay. Yeah, I have no I idea. Play that. I'm not familiar. I Although get on it. I will say this on the Humble Bundle right now, uh, Capcom is releasing a, like for $30, you're getting like eight big Capcom ga- uh, Capcom games. Uh, one of them is going to be the uh, Phoenix Wright Phoenix Wright games, which is actually pretty good. Um, but anyways, I digress. But yeah, yeah. So, but anyways, but uh, you know what's funny? I would love to have the announcer for it to, 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 to announce random, <laughs> like other games would be great. I love how optimistic that announcer is because he always like, he always has a nice uppity voice. He's like, now it's time to take you for a ride. But then, like, just can you imagine him saying random phrases? It's like, bathe in the blood of your enemies. <laughs> you know, that kind of, that kind of level. They of, killed your mother. Yeah. <laughs> Epic Mickey rebrushed. I think that's it. I yep. don't know. It looked there spooky, you go. and I kind of want to play it. I didn't look. Adam, I think it was a spooky game. I don't think it was Adam a spooky game. this switch. It looks kind of spooky. I can't show <laughs> you my screen, but it looks cool. Yes. I, no, I don't need service help. Go away. Take out the people that did you wrong. <laughs> that would be, oh my God. Show them what you're made of yes. in this game. Chainsaw <laughs> your head off. I know, right? Second, I don't know. It's time to collect feet. <laughs> you know, Just, Please be the announcer for my life. That would be <laughs> that, the Nintendo the al- cat announcer. Used the litter box. Oh, good for them. <laughs> no, that, that would be oh. the cat used their litter box uh, and has wet feet and just jumped on your comforter. What are you gonna do? <laughs> like, I would love Hang to have that. Shame. I don't know. It's like Jesus. It's like this guy. It's like I can hear you all day. All right. There you go. But anyways, yeah. So the Nintendo Direct, I think it did. They did a good job. Uh, hopefully, and then I know people who love Zelda had a good example of what's coming up with the new Zelda Echoes. Uh, the Echo of the new Zelda uh, Zelda game is coming. Out. I don't even know the full name anymore because like I don't even care. But, but still, I mean, I'm probably the worst person to talk about Zelda. But, uh, Don't ask me Zelda games or what the names of an actor is because he's Adam's like, oh, I know him. I'm like, yeah, it's Bob. <laughs> yeah, his name is Phil. That, that, that lady <laughs> that I pointed to, yeah, that's Bob. Yeah, we'll just go with it's that. A family name. No. <laughs> Jibba Jabba, that's his name. But anyways, okay. But Lex, yes. What, what is your topic? Uh, well. <laughs> So, speaking of, I didn't know that you were playing Star Wars Outlaws. That's kind of funny. Because mm. we've kind of talked, we've, we've talked a little bit of shit on this game. Uh, which sucks, because we all agreed that we would all like to play this game. Uh, however, the price is just not there for us. Um, oh, well, to be fair, the <laughs> reason why I'm playing it is I got a key. That's why. Uh, they, that makes uh, more sense. I okay. would never pay money for this game <laughs> if it was up to me. And I didn't. So let's do a little recap, everybody. Um, it's an Ubisoft game. So in your mind, you're going, ah, that costs a lot. You would be correct. So Star Wars Outlaws was either 110 and then 130, depending on which edition you wanted. There's actually like seven price points, but I, I don't want to find them all. The, that's boring to me. Anywho, it was a lot of money. Okay. Um, so Star Wars, uh, they just had an outlaws patch 1.000.002. Could you make that any longer? Uh, it's <laughs> stranding uh, PS5 players in space and forcing them to start new saves. So uh, the new the new update, uh, it's 8.5 gigs, uh, was released on August 27th or the 26th at like midnight on PS5, uh, bringing with it a 40 FPS mode and bug fixes. Okay, cool. But it's causing other problems. So like Ubisoft, they they brought in a patch just to give us more problems. Are we surprised? I wasn't. Um, it it gets a little worse. But I'll, I'm, I'm going to not deal in that shame at the moment but Mm. remember that price point we talked about so um i believe two of the price points you got three day early access oh i know how exciting i don't know why you would want to but okay (laughs) so 
August 30th, this article came out uh, two days after the other one. So uh, <laughs> Ubisoft is now saying, oops, so sorry about that patch that we put out to fix the other issue that you were having. Um, so to make to make good on that, we're going to give you a trinket and some loyalty points. What does loyalty uh, points no, do? like do? That's what I'm not understanding. Nothing. Um, <laughs> so to sincerely apologize for the inconvenience uh, this has caused, uh, once you have confirmed that you have the latest version, please start a new save file to fully enjoy Star Wars Outlaws as our team intended. If you continue on a prior save, you will unfortunately face issues and progression blockers. Like, I don't know, being stuck in outer space. Um, so they were forced into losing hours of progress through no fault of their own. A loss made all the worse by the fact um, that if you played the early access three days, you already had to start a new save file! Okay. Um, which was reserved for those who paid the over $100 for the gold edition or the special edition. Um, so now Ubisoft has offered to make a make good to affected players uh, in-game Trailblazer Trinket and 100 Ubisoft Connect units. These units are Ubisoft Connect loyalty points, which can be used on in-game rewards and Ubisoft discounts. <gasps> what yeah yeah good for you um so again if you played the three-day early edition you lost that progression once the game was released then with the new update because you were having issues that weren't as bad as the one that came with the update like losing you in space then you had to start a new save file so three new save th three save files later uh and you get loyalty points Okay. How fun. This is um okay, I just wanted to make sure I got this right besides this old sure. you're saying. So basically, okay, now like you were saying before, we we were yeah. talking about the prices of the game. The game itself was going to be mm -hmm. base game was 70, uh the mid the mid tier I believe was 90 and then there was a collector's edition which is 120 bucks. And then the only one that allowed you There was you 110 have, one either. There was, was also there, 110. Oh, okay. Yeah, but but the only one that you could be able to to uh to get the three day early access was the was the top, was the highest one. Uh, mm -hmm. So, uh, but that even with that, there was when the game came out earlier this week, there were glitches and stuff like that to a point where you it was unplayable and you would have to reset. You would have to you had to reset your your game already in the first place. Then there was a second glitch. Is that what you're saying? The se what was the second glitch? Okay, so first glitch is that if you got the three-day early access, uh -huh. once the game fully was released to everyone, you had to start a new save file. Oh, so that was a glitch? Oh, wow. No. I There's maybe calling it that, but that's not a glitch. Um, because wow. nowhere, anywhere that I could find uh, on the Wayback Machine, anywhere on their website did it state, like, you get three-day early access, but... Once the game comes out, you will lose that and have to start a new save file. Couldn't find that anywhere because um, I don't care what it says now. It didn't say that previously. So you'd have to start a new save file. So then everyone starts a new save file, right? So first one is gone. Okay, great. Um, so <laughs> then you start a new save file and you're having some issues, but not that bad. Uh, but the patch comes out and it strands you in outer space. So then... <laughs> That one's gone. So now you're on your third save file, and all you have for it is a trinket, which I assume is for, like, your belt, and some loyalty points to give you discounts in the Ubisoft store. So that was the second glitch. So that was the reward for the second glitch. Okay, so that okay, that makes sense. There First were off, other glitches, and that's yeah. why the, the bug fix came out, but it didn't seem like the bugs were that bad. Like, you could still play through it. They still broke their game regardless on it but like the the fact yeah. that the fact that they had to you, that you had did. to start your game twice uh uh search game twice on this and let me know if i'm if you're if, if we're wrong about this because i'm not really familiar like I, I just got i i wasn't interested in this game I already it was already on it was already starting off with the negative negative for me so that's why i only played about five hours to see if it was something that i would catch on to and it really didn't 
Uh, but however, uh, yeah, I am actually interested to know anyone who is currently playing um, Star Wars Outlaws, what, what you, how your experience is personally on it. But um, they need to like, dude, like that's totally inexcusable at this point. Like, uh, like, uh, 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 like if it, if there's a glitch, especially your selling point to spend the one hundred and twenty dollars. To uh, one of your selling points to to spend that kind of cash if you're wanting to own your game that game outright to be there for three days early is a uh, 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 is a point uh, to for people to buy your game like that you need to know you need to get your shit working I mean that is basically where it comes down to how it's supposed to be and the fact that they had to go through two major two major update patches to get this to work is exactly what I was talking about about like how game development has gone sloppy has gone has been has been degrading every year uh, when it comes to this kind of deal it's like now since uh, like you had to get this stuff working initially back in the day because there wasn't a way for you to update as a whole because uh, once no. you release it out you release it out unless you make a brand new version of the uh, of the same game so you the have incent- to release the yeah so your incentives of uh of of q and uh, like of, of just testing these things out were probably a lot more stricter than back in the day than what they are now and don't get me wrong I'm not saying you need to be 100% perfect or glitches need like you need to you need you need to like always shoot your shot and get it in but dude if you're telling your consumer to spend over $100 for this game and then you're going through that whole rigmarole for people to be doing this because people who love Star Wars are definitely probably paid for it uh like and then you don't deliver yeah, you there's a there's a giant prob uh, a, a giant problem for the, uh, for that and just and that's why I didn't trust Ubisoft at all when I heard that when I, when I heard that, that this is what they were going to go do. Then on top of that, what makes it even more annoying is the fact that they made they, they messed up. Then there's like saying then they're using that as a chance for you to upsell to buy stuff on their uh, on their end is like the balls of that is just unbelievable it's i don't know if i would like i don't know if that like to 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 give the apology like hey we're sorry we did this here's a trinket i don't know what the trinket uh, what the trinket freaking does and then uh and if it's just a if it's just an accessory or whatever it's like oh okay great and then after on top of that it's like oh here's credits to our store uh, that five dollars off or something when you know damn well that there's nothing that's worth five dollars there you have to pay you have to pay more money to get whatever the right. discount that you're getting i don't know man this is it's it's all messed up uh, on this but like I, I like this would be the reason why i would stop buying playing ubisoft games to be honest with you i i'd just be done even you know yeah what, what about you um <sighs> I would like to just read, um, this is a dramatic reading of some of the uh, reviews for this game. On Twitter um, or on Steam? No, it's not on Steam. Uh, I, GameSpot, I think. Okay, I'm looking at, I'm uh, look you, at Steam sales. When you sales. Google, there's no Steam sales. because No, it's, I mean, it's I'm, looking at, I'm looking at Steam. I'm going to look at for Steam ones. Oh. Hold on. But go okay. for it. Go for it while you do um, it. I question the honesty of the five-star reviews. I Guess many are paid to do it? Question mark. This game is a bore fest. If you like Red Dead Redemption, Fallout, Far Cry, Assassin's Creed, GTA, Cyberpunk, The Witcher, Skyrim, Starfield, etc., you will hate this game. Nearly everything is done by creeping around in stealth and waiting. There is no skill tree, no crafting weapons, armor or consumables, no significant vehicle upgrades, and barely any character development. If you do manage to find a different weapon, it gets dropped the second you do something else. You can climb certain sheer walls and swing from trees, but don't even think about trying to jump on a small rock to elevate your view. It's so bare bones that games 15 years old are better. In many places, it's nothing more than a platform game with massive scenery. Dialogue is dull. Spend money on snacks and replay of your old games. You'll be far happier. Someone else said, Graphics look dated. The AI is ridiculously stupid. Character movement feels clunky at best. The dialogue is so cringe. And there is no character development. She's like every other Star Wars lead since Disney took over. So Rey wearing a Han Solo wardrobe. I found the levels and worlds were not actually open world 
at all. Like Starfield, before it only concentrated areas are properly populated and there's plenty of terrain to hedge you and so you can't just travel anywhere in any direction. Boss fights are my biggest complaint. I knew this game wouldn't have Elden Ring challenge level fights, but nor did I think I would be constantly finding myself wishing the AI was better programmed. You know what? Uh, like, you know what? But this is also goes back to what we were talking about, about like earlier uh, of like just the game. It's like, oh, my God, dude, They're like to say that you're that, 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 that they're referring to games that from its from from past Mass Effect freaking uh like freaking uh what's it called uh uh the obsidian game i can never get this game right every time the, the uh uh the the obsidian game uh, the, huh oh what's up don i said hi donk <clears throat> uh what's it called obsidian. uh uh hold on i'm gonna have to look it up is it the, the word that game. smitty can't say no no what no it's not it's not that one oh, okay. uh uh man it's 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 on the tip of my tongue. Google I can never it. remember it. Google I'm it. Looking you it can up. do it. Yeah, but anyways, like the uh, like games of the past shows that like it shows we, we get more for what we get now is a pro is the freaking problem. It's exactly what I'm talking about. It's like we do. It's like we are we to say that we that 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 it succumb to less is uh we get less and then we are expecting to spend. 120 130 dollars for a game that's going to be that's not even ready at 120 or 130 bucks is just mind-boggling to me no it's not about it that's the newest oh. game that they're doing but it's the one before that yes. um but the uh outer uh worlds? outer worlds thank you golly thank you yeah the outer <laughs> worlds yeah so the <laughs> outer worlds yes like do you like the the exploratory that you could do in the outer worlds what you could have done um uh, uh, what you could have done in mass effect and mass effect 2 and stuff is mm. like levels like it's not even close like levels of what you could be exploring from like even that starfield starfield was disappointing comparatively to even within within one of their old, older games with the uh, with freaking elder scrolls and stuff it's like it's just like it, it just feels like you're getting a lot less but you're paying literally two times more just for a le for a, a crappier experience and then on top of right. that the uh the uh, mixed with the uh, the bad ai mixed with the uh <clears throat> mixed with the the terrible half-ass uh uh stealthing in this game it just doesn't make the experience worth it at all so like so what what the frick dude like i like you're telling us to expect to, to uh, you're expecting us to spend this kind of cash for nothing it's just dumb it, it's just dumb and that's just what's in what's infuriating and then on top of that with the with the glitches that they're giving uh that they give you uh or that that happened from there then right. uh and then they're trying to say oh we're doing you a favor we messed up we're going <laughs> to give you five bucks off on this thing and stuff and then but the, we're, right. the only way you can the only way you can support it is uh uh is within our store something else bull right. crap yeah bull crap you just, no, do, not even no. a gift card yeah that's why loyalty I mean. points Man, that's why I'm sticking to these classics. I mean, I, I understand now just by listening to this, it's making me understand more on why people are edging more towards the uh, the nostalgia because nostalgia was better when it comes to yeah. uh, to, to first party experiences and let alone and uh, and like what Donk said a long time ago, just to support indie supporters because like that's exactly where creativity is coming because AAA titles is just a is just a sink, man. It's just a sink yeah. of just of just throwing your money away. Uh, like it's just so irritating you know it's just so like you want to wring someone's neck and it's just like but you just don't know who or what uh from this oh it, yeah it's just like it's gotten so bad you know you know what's interesting is uh someone sent me the other day um a trailer they're like oh didn't you play this and i'm watching the trailer with no sound and i'm like oh this is faith and then i realize this isn't faith and they're stealing all of the 8-bit stuff that the the indie game faith did and putting it into their triple a title and i was like oh there's no way y'all are just stealing yeah what hello oh, I, I mean the game I idea is cool but like you're you're really gonna steal from an indie developer 
come on now. But no, I agree. Like I, no, yeah, I'm, I mean, and it, I was, I was describing to someone one's kid the other day. I was like, man, I loved when King Kong. I played that game so many which ways, and it was on PlayStation Two. And you, at the beginning of the game, you could put in these like punch in these codes, and then play it a different way if you already beat it uh and it gave you like unlimited ammo or you could do this but you had to do this to do that and i was it's she's like this sounds so much fun i was like yeah they don't do that anymore not really yeah i mean <laughs> like, i like it, it's funny though because like i like, think like it, no 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 you're totally right but like i'm I, I it's totally like uh i'm just thinking to myself like we know that this year is a slow year for triple a titles and especially with all the uh uh, the layoffs and all these different kinds of uh, uh stuff that's that's currently happening in the gaming in the gaming world. Which, by the way, I'm uh, I Visions of Mana that that just came out, I believe, yesterday or the day before. And to say that, like, to like to commemorate the Vision of Mana, the studio that created Vision of Man, Mana, they closed the studio down. Only a couple, like a couple, two or three, two or three, uh, like a very a, a very small amount of uh. Uh, positions are now there but they shut the studio down essentially it's just like wow okay so the game is complete and then you just, and then and then the studio is now shut down officially so by net ease but anyways i digress but like i am not interested in anything that's that that like like to a high level of uh uh when i when when they say well microsoft it's uh, it's already kind of a given but like anything that's a big triple a studio like bethesda which i never was a big fan of but like obsidian all these other big triple a titles and uh, companies and stuff it's so hard to be hyped on what you're going to expect because i feel like you're just, it's just it, you're not going to get the the same experience of what you once had i mean unless you're going to get like unless you're going to get something <clears throat> that was already done, but just now in a different way, just slightly or, or just slightly different and stuff. And they just resold it. They just resell it into a collector's edition or special edition or remaster or whatever. It's like, man, okay, whatever. So it's just disappointing. I shouldn't be, I shouldn't be so disappointed about this. We kind of called the writing on the wall when, when they are announcing these, these, the, this prize, cause we were calling that, that out once <laughs> this game came out. And then, uh, yeah. and so I guess now what's going to be left is to see is this going to happen with the uh, with assassin's creed uh the the new one that's coming out assassin's yeah, yeah. uh Ass when i come yeah yeah so we'll see where that's gonna uh, where that's gonna uh line up you know i wonder how many people have asked for refunds uh, that's a number I would like to know. But you know what's interesting? When we saw the trailer, both Smitty and I were like, oh, this looks really cool. Like, I, I might like this. Uh, I It didn't say that you had to sneak and, like, the whole game was only about stealth. It didn't it show said, anything it, about the it. The trailer didn't, didn't yeah. show anything like that, mm -hmm. uh, which I feel like isn't that, like – false not pretenses like not under really. the law technically no because like we don't know we didn't know what kind of game it was all we knew was that it was story driven and they didn't show any they didn't show any real gameplay until like literally maybe two or three weeks ago so right. yeah all you knew was it was a story driven game and but you didn't know the how the game play uh, how the game will play that's all the, i mean that that's basically what it is <laughs> now if they said it's a sports game uh if it's a, a sports game but then and then and joe montana was in it that's how that's how old i am when joe montana's in it and he isn't and then yeah right. that's false pretenses <laughs> yeah that's <laughs> you know? true that's so, true yeah well yeah. i and i wonder what they mean by cringy dialogue like does she meet a guy at the bar and he's like hey girl like that get i got all this riz like i i have no. so many questions I say the way it's because the, it You're looks. You're welcome, Gen Z and Alpha. I'm. I am one of. It you. looks robotic, like oh, okay. the the uh, the conversations are very like you know kind of like it feels very AI ish a little bit. Not mm. quite the the direct of it, but it was uh it it I wasn't like I mean i'll give credit to the main character the main character probably has the most kind of expression but when you're talking to npcs or quest quest givers and stuff like that it didn't look it didn't feel artificial it didn't feel like you know genuine of that kind of deal you know so it's just the uh it's a little it's a little ridiculous <laughs> it's a little ridiculous on how how to really describe it but yeah it's not it wasn't it wasn't something to chime about uh, let's just say that um, hmm. and, and, but like you said, like 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 the person was saying as one of the complaints, and I would totally agree with it. Is that the AI is freaking stupid in this game? It's like yeah. like like I told you about the example from uh 
from um from Asmongold when he did it when he did that thing. I was like, are you kidding me? It's just so weird that like they got away. They're getting away with this kind of nonsense at one hundred and twenty dollars. You know, it's just like, wow, that is unfreaking believable. Yeah. So I, I don't know. But anyways, look, y'all can spend what you want where you want buy frivolous things but if we keep giving money to these big companies to just deliver shit on a plate and put a bow on it Mm -hmm. we're just gonna keep getting shit on a plate with a different color bow on it yeah you know maybe less (laughs) less for more money (laughs) and i only know like horror indie and what's good in that realm but i can tell you if there's if I have played more than both of my hands and fingers and toes of good horror indie games, there have got to be good horror, like story driven games or non horror story driven games out there for you, for you babies who don't like that. You know, well, the thing about horror is that there's just so many out there and the, the, I think it's getting overlooked very easily. And I think that there, yeah. but uh, overall, I think it's going to be, uh, I mean, there are a lot of good horror games out there. I just think that they, 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 uh, they just don't get their time to shine. Personally. We need to play Labyrinthine some more, buddy. Not playing Labyrinthine again. Come with you. on. <laughs> uh, I'll send the... you a harmonica and then you just hold it and then I'll I'll be the leader. Okay. Just follow me. You just give we'll me some it, uh, give me some uh loyalty points, maybe, and then that's so I can get some sort of credit <laughs> credit into your thing. I don't know. That's the... you can walk into my house <laughs> and take <laughs> Any animal you want. I'm like, oh, I like yep. this. I'm gonna take it and then just leave. And it's like, okay, you got yourself a get. You got yourself a player. Got it. That's yep. Simple as that. Okay. Oh man. But anyways, I'll borrow Opie for a week. <laughs> Opie would just be doing micro gr- a micro like barks at Boops. me. Yeah. She'd at, help at you with your laundry though. She doesn't know. She's she, good at it. What would she do? She, she helps you with my laundry. In what way? <laughs> roll get more I can't fur bend on over. here no i can't bend over so like when i go to grab laundry and walk it to the laundry room because mm-hmm. i separate it in the closet um mm-hmm. uh, as i'm walking it to the laundry room if i drop stuff she grabs it and brings it to me one by one well what if that's not a problem what if it's not a problem i have well <laughs> if you have just- the front if you have a front loader, she'll a, she'll pull it to the front for you. Oh, uh, it's a top loader. So that you can put it into the top. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Well, can't help you there, then. <laughs> there you go. All right. But, yeah, I'm screwed. But anyways, folks, thank you for listening to episode number 333 of the CFG Gamecast. Thank you for being a part of the conversation, as always. If you like what you hear, definitely support us on our page, the YouTube, on our YouTube page, the CFG channel. Uh, but if you did miss out on this episode, that is perfectly all right. We do release it on all podcast services at the beginning of each and every week. You know, but this week, since it's Labor Day, I think it's going to be released on Tuesday. I'm pretty sure it's going to be released on Tuesday. No, I know it's going to be released on Tuesday. Yes. So, yeah. Yeah, but so we'll still release it. We're going to be releasing this one on the day after Labor Day. So there is, but there is still no reason to absolutely uh, miss out on all sexy, sexy voices. <laughs> Guys, also be sure to go check out our main website, confreaksgeeks.com, to check out all the content that we're going to be adding, especially about all of our PAX West co- uh, coverage. So uh, once again, this is Davis and Lex. Y'all take it easy. Okay, later. Bye-bye.